Chef Anthony here at Don's Appliances. So excited bringing you a great prime Delmonico, searing it perfectly on your grill. Let's walk with me and let's go. First off, we have a nice, great cut. USDA prime steak, little Delmonico. This is a perfect grilling steak. Great marbling in the center. A little bit of fat cap on the eye outside. This will sear very nicely. Get us that great char and that flavor that we're looking for. First and foremost, I just check everything, see if there's any loose pieces of fat, anything we could take off. You don't wanna start you know, doing too much with this, but I do always paper towel this just to make it tacky, get that first initial layer of moisture off. Do this to all your steaks, all your chicken, kinda of anything you're gonna put on that dry heat sear zone. So, get that moisture off. Next, we're gonna add just a little bit of fat. We're gonna brush some olive oil right on these steaks. It's nice and easy. Next, I'm gonna add one part of Montreal steak seasoning to one part of garlic powder. That'll really give us a nice crisp crust. I like the Montreal because it does crust a little bit. Gives you a great little look. Both sides, and don't forget the fronts. Just this little cap right here. I always like to take that, just go like this with it. Now that side has a great coating. That's my favorite part, D. That's why. If you want to salt them in advance, it's like another option. I've done it before. But if we're salting in advance, it's really going to dry out that, it's going to take out that moisture. So you're going to want to wipe that off ahead of time no more than overnight for a size steak like this because it will dry it out, kind of make it too salty, and it'll really change the texture of it. It's an option. It's, a, uh, it's like a dry brine is what it's technically called. So if we wanted to do that, it's another option. Or you could wet brine it, keep it in a marinade and things like that. There's all different kind of marinades out there. But if we are marinating, we want to take all that marinade off because if the meat is porous, it will soak up that marinade of brine. It doesn't need all that liquid on the grill. All you're doing is creating a huge mess. So I wanna keep you clean, I wanna keep you grilling, and I wanna keep you eating and enjoying. So when we're uh, seasoning our steaks, you wanna keep a relative time and temperature for all of your meats, but this has to be out for at least 15 to 20 minutes to come down and get the chill off. The fridge is 39 to 41 degrees, something like that. If we take it to the grill, it's not really cold. We don't need it. We need it nice and at a relative room temperature or tabletop temperature. So keep these steaks out at least a half hour to 25 minutes beforehand really helps the cooking process and get an accurate read when you're going to probe it and temp it if you're looking for a rare steak or a medium rare steak, just different types. A great rule of thumb when seasoning these steaks is, especially when you pat it dry, I wanna season it right before I put it on, okay? Because that's the kind of method that I'm doing right now. If you wanna season it ahead of time, no more than two to four hours because it will create a moisture cap and you won't get as good a sear on your product. So my rule of thumb, pat it dry, sear it, or pat it dry, season it, sear it, and you'll be good to go. Let's head to the grill. All right, so check up our setup on the Napoleon. We have the left side high sear zone cranked up, ready to go, and that's what you need. If you're not using the high sear zone, Buy one from us, no. <laughs> what you wanna do is you really wanna get that high sear zone, and then we have the other side off to carry over cook our steak so we don't have to wait and really jostle it around. So, super easy, first steak, right in the back on a nice 45. Next one, just like that. And the high sear zone, the initial, we'll see that smoke start to flare up and we know we're gonna get a good sear. Two minutes. To keep the heat in, you know, a lot of people ask me, should I keep the top up or keep the top down? For the high sear zone, you can leave it open. For your regular grilling, I'm a fan of keeping the lid down. Keeping the lid down keeps all that heat in, just like your oven door. Close that door too. All right, steaks look perfect. Here's why we have the dual zone. We'll put it right here. We got the sear and the caramelization we're looking for. Now, we're just gonna carry it over for another few minutes until it reaches our desired doneness. All right, steaks have been another three minutes on the cool side just to carry over. They look amazing. Finishing these guys out, beautiful. 
steaks are finished. Great prime Delmonico's right off the grill. We let them sit for about eight or 10 minutes, probably around eight, just so it, you know, the meat comes back and it doesn't rip out. Let's taste our finished product. Very good. Texture looks good. Cheers, looks great. Mm. Amazing crust, perfect sear. Has that great grill flavor, that tender look. This Delmonico is a winner. Enjoy this.